Thank you so much for joining me and being part of this weather community. It is your weather community, so thank you for liking the videos, leaving the comments, and being part of this community by subscribing. I really appreciate that. Again, uh, this is for us, so we could just uh, communicate the weather around. And one thing we're going to be looking out for is uh, the possibility of tropical storms, hurricanes down the road. Nothing now, of course. But I want to get a look at uh, April, and then we'll look at our eventual rainfall. And I want to look ahead to May as well. Now, this is 2017, and I bring this up. A lot of hurricanes, tropical storms, that sort of thing way the heck out here i want to break this down further in the central atlantic this spin out here that was actually an april tropical storm so it does happen in april it's not common at all but it just kind of a uh, that we've had a few storms in april it's kind of a sign that we're getting closer to the uh, hurricane season again nothing developing out there now but it's not completely out of the question that something tries to spin up later this month what did develop in 2017 was tropical storm arlene out there uh, some uh, gusty winds uh, with it you can see it, a classic tropical storm so yeah that was a very early season storm so we've had some over the years uh, most of them have not uh, impact at land. In March, there was one named system. It was actually a bigger system, a hurricane that did impact the uh, Caribbean. That was in the early 1900s, but March is very quiet. In April, seven named storms, all tropical storms. In May, there could be tropical storms or hurricanes. 50 on record. And again, the records you take them with a grain of salt because uh, back in the day, there weren't satellites. You were relying on ships and buoys and things like that. So I'm sure some of those uh, were missed. Uh, but as we get into May, I do expect this year a higher possibility of a pre-season named storm. Season doesn't start to uh, June 1st, but I want to show you the conditions for May. One of the conditions I'm watching out for are the warm water temperatures. A lot of those are running above average. They're usually still warm across the uh, parts of the uh, Caribbean this time of year but 27, 28 degrees uh, Celsius, or you're running in the low 80s Fahrenheit, that is conducive for tropical uh, systems to develop. So why doesn't one form now? Well, the conditions above our heads are not uh, conducive for development. There's been fronts and that sort of thing, so uh, conditions aren't uh, uh, right for tropical uh, development, so to speak. Of course, I don't need a, we don't want a big system uh, moving in, but the water temperatures are warming up, but that's just one ingredient. Another ingredient is the amount of moisture out there the available moisture of course you need some rain uh, tropical waves uh, stuff like that you need fronts that kind of spin up things for things to develop now this here is the rest of April and I was showing you this in pr uh, prior videos the green shading is above average rain the uh, yellow shading here is below average rain and the white that would just be just about average and across much of the Caribbean it's going to be uh, just about average as far as rainfall or below average especially near Jamaica Cayman Islands Cuba back toward Belize and Honduras could be a little bit above average northeastern Caribbean but there's not a ton of available moisture across the Caribbean right now southeast U.S. with those big fronts like one we have today that's rolling by I'll show you that in a minute above average rain but look what happens in May. This is the May rain outlook. Not only are we going to be wetter, which we expect as a lot of us start to uh, get into the uh, wet season, but we get above average rainfall throughout parts of the uh, Caribbean out into the Atlantic. That with the warm water temperatures uh, are a couple of the uh, bigger ingredients. Those are a couple of the bigger ingredients for a pre-season system to develop. So again, the conditions are conducive for some development potentially next month, not too far off. So I'll be watching that. But of course, most of the activity happens August through October. That's when about 85% of all named storms happen. The uh, heart of the hurricane season, the peak of the season being about September 10th, September 11th. But sometimes you get stuff popping up kind of early. The first named system this season will be Alberto. Beryl, Chris, Debbie after that, Ernesto, Francine, and Gordon, and we'll see how far we get down the list. No telling on where storms go. Maybe they stay all out to sea. I need to see a storm develop first, or, or at least a tropical wave to kind of be out there, get a handle on the weather patterns uh, at the current time, and then I'll be able to forecast where these systems may uh, go. Now, as we look at what to expect today, I mentioned the southeast U.S. We've got a system rolling by with the possibility of some severe weather, especially back toward Florida as we swing through our afternoon could be some isolated tornadoes in Florida today and that front will clip by the northern Bahamas it'll start to fizzle 
out, but there could actually be a couple of thunderstorms tonight into early tomorrow in the northern Bahamas. I'll zoom down into the northeast U.S. and the Atlantic region of Canada in just a second to cover that. But there's the tail end of the front, and this is as we work our way into tomorrow afternoon or Thursday afternoon, and then that kind of pushes away, and I'll zoom down there. But we're going to keep an eye on some of the uh, showers in the Caribbean. I'll zoom back down into the Caribbean uh, for us uh, because, again, some of us had some welcome rain yesterday. We did need it. I was expecting some rain. Some of us got it. Of course, some of us still need to get some. Then down the road on Saturday, we'll watch out for another system working its way across the U.S. that's uh, been moving into the western U.S. and moving over toward the Rocky Mountains. Here's a closer look. Now, still, as we go throughout today, a chance of scattered showers. Uh, we could see some near Martinique, uh, Barbados, St. Lucia, down through Trinidad and Tobago. At Trinidad and Tobago, we had some welcome showers in some spots yesterday. Boy, did we need it. Guyana and Suriname, the rain chance tomorrow, this is our Thursday, will pick up while the rain chance in other areas goes down some. It'll also pick up a bit in Costa Rica and Panama. Not all day stuff, but scattered. And there's that front, bringing a few showers to Cuba, and it may help enhance a few showers in parts of Belize, Guatemala and Honduras, not all of us, but again, we'll see some scattered showers. Then on Friday, mainly dry. We'll see a hit or miss shower. Can't roll one out. Dominica, northern Venezuela. Uh, could see a couple near El Salvador and Guatemala. But as we work our way into Friday overall, the rain chance is not too high. Now, swinging back toward the northeast, I mentioned the severe weather possibility across Florida today with that uh, front moving toward the Bahamas. This is the top part of it, and it's not really moving fast. I was mentioning that in yesterday's video, and you could see here, Again, some heavier weather in the form of rain where you see the brighter colors. Those are some downpours. This white shading, that would be some snow. So what it's looking like for the Atlantic region of Canada as this moves out of the uh, mid-Atlantic ever so slowly and out of the Great Lakes region and northeast U.S., it kind of pulls almost due east. So it's not necessarily going to lift through for all of us. With that, uh, we're going to see that colder air wrapping in. So watching Maine, Nova Scotia, uh, parts of New Brunswick, uh, Prince Edward Island for that chance of some. Uh, snow. It's uh, Some of it will depend on elevation, uh, and then on the back side of it, you see some of the snow showers even back toward West Virginia. West Virginia got hit hard yesterday with some severe weather back toward uh, Kentucky, parts of uh, Tennessee. And then you see here on Saturday, uh, the system kind of shoots out, doesn't really necessarily lift up toward uh, Newfoundland, uh, but still that chance of some rain and snow for some of us as we get into the first half of the weekend. So Jamaica, rain chance bumps up a little bit for us as we work our way into Friday. Rain chance will be a little higher as we go throughout the day today across the Cayman Islands 10 20 percent chance of a shower same thing through the end of the week Trinidad and Tobago today again we have some we have some of those scattered showers that have been at least around now so we'll keep an eye on that as we go throughout the day then the rain chance st starts to drop off Barbados we're looking at a 40 percent chance today same thing in St. Lucia let me know what you get or don't get in the comments rain chance 40 percent today we get toward Grenada rain chance 50 percent with some scattered showers nearby 40 percent chance St. Vincent the Grenadines, 30% chance tomorrow, 30% chance the next couple days of Martinique, maybe about a 30-40% chance, Dominica 30% chance of some showers, and a 20-30% to 30 chance over the next three days in Guadeloupe. Rain chance Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance 20-30%, to 30%. it would be passing variety, same thing, St. Kitts, Nevis, Montserrat, rain chance not too high in Guilla and St. Barts, doesn't mean we can't get a shower, but you see these rain chances, St. Martin, St. Vestatia, not too high at all. 20% chance the next couple days in Puerto Rico. But by the end of the week, with that front passing to the north, Puerto Rico, we're going to see about a 40% chance of a few showers on Friday. U.S. and British Virgin Islands it would be some uh, passing very isolated showers. Rain chance Dominican Republic with that front, 30% chance for us tomorrow, and up to a 40% chance on Friday. Haiti, we're staying mainly dry. Rain chance stays minimal, and we stay generally hot. 20 to 30% across the Bahamas. Again, northern Bahamas, that system today, coming out of Florida. will clip us by in the northern Bahamas. I was covering us. Turks and Caicos, rain chance about 10%. 40% chance tomorrow in Cuba. Just seeing a few spotty showers uh, moving from the west uh, to the east. Belize, not all of us get rain, but the rain chance tomorrow and Friday at 40% and about a 20 to 30% chance over toward Cozumel, Cancun, the Yucatan of Mexico. Aruba, rain chance is holding at 20%, holding at about 10 to 20% chance in Curacao and Bonaire. 40% chance in Bermuda, watching that front that will eventually be getting closer tomorrow. Rain chance at 40%, holding at that the next few days. Coast 
Costa Rica and Panama. So rain chance trying to bump up a little bit more so. And then Guyana and uh, Suriname, uh, rain chance back up to about 50% for the end of the week, mainly favoring areas away from the coast in Guyana, but really scattered about as we get over towards Suriname, northern Venezuela, a 20 to 30% chance. So tracking some areas of showers for today, that front moving by uh, from Florida into the Bahamas. And again, watching uh, the uh, tropics, I expect it to be generally quiet this month. Historically, as I showed you, it is usually quiet, not a ton of available moisture out there. But in May, we've got a couple of the bigger ingredients ingredients uh, that are in place for the potential of an early season or pre-season uh, potentially tropical storm uh, somewhere out there. Hurricane season starts June 1st. So thank you for being with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.